Hey guys, how's it going? So we're back with another video, and we're not done talking about Donald Trump making guitars great again, because there's been some pretty major news over the last couple of days. Um, but before we even get to that, I was planning on making this video anyway, because when I made my initial video last week, there were no specs listed, and some of the things that people were claiming in the comments, there was really no way to substantiate those claims. But now some things have happened in the last couple of days uh, that, number one, my original follow-up video to talk about the hilarious specs of these guitars, but number two, some breaking news about them. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make myself a little bit smaller here so that we can uh, just take a look right off the bat. So from the very beginning of the video, I want to say something. So people were saying in the comments, like, that's photoshopped. That picture of Donald Trump with the guitar is photoshopped. And I thought, oh, whatever. You guys are just paranoid or something, whatever. It's not photoshopped. This is the exact same picture that we had last week, but now it's an acoustic guitar. And very obviously a Photoshop. Like, look at the text here that says, Make America Great Again. You see this? Um, it, it's very clearly not, the, it doesn't match the lighting. Someone else said, his hand isn't that big. It's been enlarged. I don't think it was enlarged from, the fo from Photoshop. I think what happened was it was just a bad placement of the guitar he wasn't actually holding in Photoshop. Um... And that's just hilarious to me. But there's something else that happened that I just noticed today when I was prepping to make this video. So first of all, the American Eagle acoustic guitar, it looks like it's gone up in price by $200 for the signed one. But check this out. <laughs> Look at the picture. <laughs> I can't contain myself. It's so funny. So the picture is so obviously photoshopped. Like, I, I don't even... I, what were they thinking? Okay, first of all, this picture originally was of him signing the Les Paul style guitar. What they did was they like took the picture of him signing that off and then they put this in here. Like look at this picture. Look at look at this Photoshop. It's so bad. Like look at his hand right here. Where's the shadow? What the hell is this lighting? And then and then look at the, the cut here of his hand with the pen. And then, the the even better, the autograph on this fake guitar that they photoshopped into this picture isn't even actually a real autograph. Like, you can tell just by looking at it that it, they just used, like, the pen tool in paint and just, like, faked the autograph. Just what the hell is going on with this? This is just... Okay, so it gets better, slash worse, depending on how you look at it. So these guitars sold out. The signed Les Pauls uh, for eleven five. They they went up in price after they sold out. I don't understand how that happened. And then the regular one also sold out. But what we want to talk about right now is the ones that aren't sold out because these have specs on them. And I'm so disappointed they didn't have these specs on them when we talked about this before because it would have made that video even better. Um, so let, let's just let's just read it. Uh, blah 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 blah. Here specs. Size, 39 inches. Okay, remember how last time I told you guys that these guitars are just Chibsons? There's more proof. Only cheap Chinese shit import guitars list the size that way, where it's like size 39 inches. Those are the only guitars that do that. Every other guitar on God's green earth is going to say 24-inch scale length, 25-and-a-half-inch scale length, 12-inch radius, Modern C neck profile, deep C neck profile, seven and a quarter radius. Those are the dimensions it's going to list. It's not going to say 39 inches. They, I mean, what? They just, they were just like, oh, yeah. Oh, we got to see what size of the guitar. Oh, 39 inches. Uh. That's what they did. They actually did that. You think I'm making fun or joking? No, that's literally what they've done here. I, I can't, I can't believe it. The, the guitar is even being marketed and specced by people who don't know what the hell they're doing. I'm going to guess they got this spec sheet from the Chibson factory and just vomited it onto the page here. Okay? Let's continue. Oh, the body shape is solid body. Oh, great. Thanks for letting me know. So, you know, what's your favorite guitar shape? Is it a, a, a double cut? Is it a single cut? Is it a Strat? Is it a Tele? Is it a Les Paul? No, my favorite body shape is a solid body. Okay, once again... People who don't know what the hell they're talking about slash chips and factories because they're awful and don't know what they're doing. 
What's the wood type on the body? Mahogany. Oh, how many pieces? It doesn't say one piece mahogany. Somebody pointed out in the last video, multiple people actually, that it's like an eight-piece body, if it's even really mahogany. Who knows? Wood type, neck, mahogany. Okay? And the fretboard, rosewood, doubtful. We looked at the uh, close-up of the other one. Let's see if we can get to it. Uh, if we can zoom in on the, on the picture. Uh, right here, I think it was. Nope, they took all the pictures down, too. But you could tell that the wood grain was just god-awful, like, totally fake. It was like, even the wood grain might have been fake. I'm not kidding. Like, it looks like they spray-painted it with, like, brown spray paint and then took a Sharpie and, like, made fake wood grain. So I doubt it's actually rosewood. If anything, it's Indian laurel or just junk. I, I don't really know. It's all the same, right? But let's get to the good stuff. The two things that make me want to buy this guitar. The strings. It, it, it lists the strings. Now, normally when a guitar lists the strings, it'll say something like, all of our guitars shipped with uh, Elixir strings, or all of our guitars shipped with Diodario strings, or all of our guitars shipped... It, it, that's like a selling point to some people because it's like, okay, well, great. You set the guitar up with a really good set of strings, in my opinion, and I'm going to get the guitar set up with those strings, and I'll just always put those good strings on it so we're all set. That's why they put those on there, right? Once again... Idiot person who made this page, strings, MAGA benders. You have got to be shitting me. Like that, I can't believe this. I seriously can't believe this. I mean, and like I said in my last video, like, whether you absolutely love Trump, hate Trump, voted for Trump, didn't vote for Trump, um, live in the United States or not, care about American politics or not, what the hell is MAGA benders? Like, what, what in the world are they thinking? This is completely crazy. This isn't like Trump stakes, which, you know, wh again, whether you love Trump or hate Trump, Trump stakes was a terrible idea. Um, what, did they say that it was seared in, like, I, don't, I can't even think of a good joke because I'm so just blown away by this. MAGA benders. So does that mean that we'll be able to buy MAGA benders? Let's see. Do they, do they have a... Nope, they don't have an accessories section. Well, that's disappointing. I'd like to buy a pack of MAGA benders and see what those are. But we know what they are, don't we? They are shit nickel chinesium strings. That it's, If you're like me and you have like some kind of a skin condition or allergy to med nickel or something, these are the kind of strings that you touch them and then your fingers break out in bubbles. Good strings, like Ernie Balls, for example, um, I can't play those either because I break out, but I don't break out immediately. I mean, I can play my friend's guitars for a few minutes, no problem. But these cheapo, chinesium, shittium strings that come on these cheapo guitars, usually uh, I touch them and whoop, like the IYV that we reviewed, which was a good guitar. I liked it. But when I touched those strings, it broke my hands out real bad. That's the kind of strings that leave black shit all over your hands. Like this, MAGA benders, though. They branded them. They're putting their... I, I, whatever. Let's move on. We talked about that for too long. Pickup. Singular. Pickup. MAGA 45 Trump Buckers. I, I can't decide which of these things are worse. MAGA Benders or Trump Buckers? Trump Buckers? Are, are you kidding me? Like, seriously. What timeline are we living in right now? Like, what the hell's going on? Trump Buckers? And they're 45 Trump buckers, so they're four-year-old humbuckers at the newest. Because he was 45 four years ago. He's 47 uh, coming up. So 45 Trump buckers. But again, let's back up for a second. Let's say that they actually developed a new kind of string, whatever makes a new kind of string be what better than another. And they branded them MAGA benders. They came in, like, I don't know, fancy American flag packaging, and when you open it, they come in, like, special red hat envelopes or something like i don't know but no they didn't even do that they're just naming an existing shit so the humbuckers are doing the same thing if they like developed a new sweetwater did this they have the sugar buckers which i'm dying to get a hold of i want to try those out but they did their r d they came up they they designed something they endorsed something and put their name on it Th that's not what happened here okay this was chinesium factory with their shit Alnico or ceramic, Lord knows what they are, standard humbuckers that come in all their chipsons, 
They're just calling them Trump buckers. I guarantee you there is no marking on this humbucker that tells you it's a Trump bucker. You're going to turn it over, and it's going to have the same generic sticker that it has on all the other ones. So there ain't nothing special about these other than the fact that they're Trump buckers. So what I'm really curious to see is, are we going to see on Reverb soon? There'll probably be troll and joke posts. But are we going to see people selling, like, the shit humbuckers from AliExpress as Trump buckers and saying that they're selling Trump buckers and then upcharge for them? I don't know. Time will tell. Finish. High gloss. So, okay, that's not good either. Because if you're going to pay, well, what are they charging for this? $1,500 for this? And you're going to have high gloss? Like, hello, one of the selling points of a Les Paul, which is what you're ripping off here, is nitrocellulose lacquer. So if you're going to, again, they don't know what the hell they're doing. They don't know what they're marketing. Finish. High gloss. That's not a good thing. Why are you bragging about this? That's not the point of the finish on a guitar like this. Okay? Fretboard inlay, is it's, it's simply wrong. It says, make America great again. No, it doesn't. It says Donald J. Trump. So they couldn't even get that right. Controls, 2x volume, 2x tone. Okay, I can't really say anything about that. Switching, three-way toggle pickup switch. Again, can't say anything about that. 22 frets, and is it left or right-handed? It's right-handed. Okay. Oh, but that's not all. We got to get to the meat and potatoes and the gold at the end of this rainbow. Notice of non-affiliation and disclaimer. GetTrumpGuitars.com is not affiliated, associated, authorized, endorsed by, or in any way officially connected with Gibson Brands, Inc., or any of its subsidiaries or its affiliates, nor does it represent itself as a dealer, manufacturer, or distributor of Gibson, Les Paul Standard, Les Paul Custom, or any of their products. Well, why would they have to say that? That doesn't make any sense. Uh-oh. So, this is the breaking news I was talking about. This came out, I think it was yesterday. They got hit with a cease and desist from Gibson. And that's just hilarious to me. I just don't know what the hell these people were thinking. Now, again, love or hate Trump, this was not Donald Trump's idea. Donald Trump didn't come up with this plan. This wasn't something he told anybody. This was somebody who, who said, Mr. President, uh, I have this idea for you. You want to make some free money? You want to endorse this product? We'll handle everything else. Just give us a picture of you holding nothing. We'll uh, Photoshop in the guitar we're selling. You can look at a picture and tell us if you like it, and then we'll sell it. That's all that happened here. But they're now being sued by Gibson. Um, I'm just going to skim through this article here. We can confirm a cease and desist has been issued against 16 Creative as the design infringes upon Gibson's exclusive trademarks, particularly the iconic Les Paul body shape, Gibson said in a statement. And there's the picture that people said was photoshopped. I didn't believe them, but you were all right. That is definitely photoshopped. It's notable, um, and when we're talking about that, this kind of lawsuit is something Gibson's done recently. They did this to Dean Guitars and won. The premise of their ar argument, uh, which I don't agree with, I'm not a Gibson fanboy, even though you might think I am. Um, the premise of their argument was they got focused on the intent to deceive part of the uh, counterfeiting laws. And they were trying to say that somebody would walk into a store and honestly mistake a Dean guitar for a Gibson. Specifically, the Flying V was one of the mod the designs. There's like a, I think there was a Dave Mustaine V that was like the center of this whole thing. And the court sided with Gibson. They agreed that somebody might look at it and think it's a Gibson, therefore it's illegal to make, which I think is totally not right. I mean, it says Dean on the headstock. Like, if you're so stupid that you think that's a Gibson, you deserve to get screwed over, in my opinion. Anyway, I digress. So there is precedent for this kind of lawsuit. But everybody else makes one, Jackson Monarch and ESP LTD and all these other ones. The thing is, I don't think Gibson ever went after those things because, number one, I'm not sure that they can win the, the lawsuit. And number two, it probably wasn't as much of a threat to them. This, selling for $1,500 is what's a threat to them. It's so expensive, it bears the presidential endorsement, and Gibson thought this was an easy win. Um, this went viral, so they had to respond. Um, I'm glad they did, honestly. Um, I wish they'd do the same thing about Chibsons, and people are going to say, well, if they cared, they'd do something. Well, newsflash, they did do something, and we're going to talk about that not in this video, but later on, uh, where Gibson actually seized millions and millions and millions and millions, not Gibson, 
the border customs people seized millions of dollars worth of counterfeit Chibson guitars. I had a little party here in my house uh, when I found out about this. But anyway, we're not going to talk about that right now. So here is the body that they are claiming is infringing on the patents, okay? So that is, see if I can make it bigger. I can't, but there it is. Let's look at a Gibson. Here's a Gibson. Here's a Trump. That's such a weird thing to say. <laughs> There's a Gibson. There's a Trump. Now, if I flash them rapidly, you can see some major differences in the body, which leads me to believe that Gibson is going to lose this lawsuit. Okay? We can stop flashing. First of all, this cut right here is much deeper. And second of all, this horn right here is a drastically different shape. Is it derivative of the Les Paul body style? Absolutely. Is it a ripoff? Absolutely. Is it legal? Probably. Should it be legal? I'll leave that up to you to decide. It's probably fine, but it's entertaining, isn't it, to watch this happen? So there you go. Uh, one other thing I want to do is I want to compare that red guitar to this red guitar. So there's the, the Gibson, the real deal, which is only $500 more than this one, by the way. And there, again, you can see the drastically different horn shape. The inside cut looks a little different on the red one, but the red one is a terrible mock-up, so I don't know. So, yeah, there you go. That's the latest news about the Trump guitar. Is he going to make guitars great again? Well, unless they're lying, which they very well may be, the uh, regular version, the American Eagle version, sold out, and the autographed version sold out. So uh, it would appear that it is a smashing success. Now, whether they get hit with a bigger lawsuit or something from Gibson, I mean, the cease and desist basically means you must not produce and sell this guitar or we are going to sue you and we believe we are going to win. I don't know that this company that is doing this is backed with the financial uh, tools of Donald Trump. So I don't know if they get sued if Donald Trump is actually liable for this. I don't know if this is a situation like that uh, that crypto website where all those celebrities like endorsed it and then they got sued because it was all a fraud and a scam. Are the celebrities responsible for that or not? I would say the same goes between both of these. But if they get sued and lose, I don't think they can afford to pay. Dr Trump would have to do it, and he won't. So I'm pretty sure what's going to end up happening here is none of these guitars are going to get made. No one is going to get any of these guitars. I think they are going to cease and they are going to desist. I think Gibson's going to win this by default because I think that Trump Guitars is going to fold. If they knew what was good for them, they would have just done a Strat style, which is what some of my friends said and what some of you said in the comments of my last video. Because Fender, I don't think they can own that patent. I think it either expired or they never made it in the first place or something like that. But uh, yeah, this is an absolutely crazy story that I just didn't think was was something that I would be talking about but here we are talking about it so yeah there you go that's pretty much all I got I'll update you next time uh, if there is an update to give you but that's it so is Trump gonna make guitars great again well he tried I guess and Gibson said no so <laughs> we'll see I can't wait to see if anybody actually gets one of these and reviews it I'll be watching it along with you so that's all I got for you today Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Please like and subscribe. Please join the Discord if you haven't already. You can do that by clicking the link in the description below. We've been super active the last couple days talking about this thing and others. So, yeah. See you next time. Thanks again. Keep on rocking.